The breeding group started around about 1996 through Endstone. The breeding groups grew through acquisitions. We operate various quarries, asphalt plants, and concrete plants within the UK. And also we have Welsh Slate. The North Cave site is a sand and gravel extraction site near to the West Yorkshire, North Yorkshire and South Yorkshire markets. Breeden is very keen to make sure that we recycle all and not waste any of our resources. Every single quarry has got some kind of plant to restore the site. At this uh, plant, for instance, we're working with the Wildlife Trust to create some wetlands in the areas where we've already dug out the reserves. The challenges that we face here are very similar to a lot of other extraction sites. So we had three operating units. They had varying degrees of efficiencies. So we had a high level of R&M costs and it was decided that we were going to combine all three plants into one operating unit and hopefully get the same throughput and, and obviously a greater quality. We then went out to various manufacturers. Some couldn't provide what we wanted at all. And to be fair, CDE gave us the best product. Breeden is one of the largest PLC quarrying companies in the UK and is rapidly growing throughout the UK and Ireland. Breeden were involved heavily with CDE in co-creating this solution, tailored exactly to their needs. They give us a, a bespoke plant that we needed for our deposit, because our deposit um, on the north side uh, has a paleo channel and a lot of clay in it. We, we needed something different to remove the clay before it went into the process inside to keep our sand in spec um, and keep it nice and clean. So CD, they come back uh, with a, a 3D model of uh, what the plant would look like, which gave us a good insight on how that would look at North Cave. I spent a lot of time looking at the material, analyzing it, before then, we got into the full design process and the full CDE design workshop. Once the plant was agreed on, it then moved into our project management phase where our project management team took on principal contractor and ensured a safe and timely delivery for breeding. They produced exactly what they said they would in the time scales, despite COVID, that they said they would. I, I wouldn't have any qualms in recommending CDE. So this plant incorporates three main modular sections of equipment from CDE. Why this is unique is we've taken that modular equipment and connected it up using static conveyors, which means you have all the benefits of the modularity, but still maintain the unrivaled access of a static wash plant. The CDE for wash with dual pass technology means their sand is very, very clean with minimal silts and clays present. We've also incorporated so they can adjust their sand gratings how they need to. This configuration produces the cleanest sand possible, but also gives breeding maximum flexibility in the blending of their fine and coarse sands. Following on from the su successful commissioning of the plant, the CD Custom Care team stepped in and ensured support was there on hand for breeding to ensure the maximum of time and efficiency with the wash plant is maintained. We process just over uh, half a million tonne a year for production and sales. Once we finish that North Cave and we've completed our reserves, we know that the plant can be taken out, down and shipped anywhere else in the breeding business and utilised elsewhere. So the new CDE plant has allowed us to basically tailor um, our sand production to the needs of our customers. It's meant that we can manage the expectations better it gave us the throughput that we initially scoped, which in my experience is, is, is quite a rarity. We've got something in the region of a 40% reduction in energy requirements. The downtime is uh, significantly improved. So we're operating at about 95% efficiency, which is up from about 35% efficiency. I know the plant's gonna run on a day-to-day -day basis. 
which takes a lot of uh, stress out of my job. We've got one manager that looks after us with maintenance and parts. We're in close contact with him on, on a weekly basis, keeping up the PMI checks with CD as well to make sure that the plant is being run as efficient as possible. Freedom produces a variety of sands and gravels here. So we've got uh, your three types of sand. We've got a 0-2 mil building sand. We've got a 0-4 mil coarser sand, which is used for generally concrete plants, pavings. We also produce three types of gravel. We've got 4 to 10 mil, 10 to 20 mil, and your 20 to 40 mil. Uh, your 4 to 10 is generally used as like a pipe bedding. We use the 10 to 20 as a decorative that we call Yorkshire cream. Uh, and we also have the 20 to 40 mil, which is an oversized product, which we don't sell externally. We use uh, for restoration in the wetlands. It looks great. <laughs> it looks fantastic. Um, it produces great material. Uh, we've got a nice wide variety. It is very compact for a 400 ton an hour plant. It definitely sets us apart. When you look at something like a two year return on investment, it soon makes it worthwhile. It's increased our profitability, it's decreased our R&M costs, and it's increased our operational efficiency by probably 60%. It's given us exactly what we wanted.